Hey, I'm Shakoya Jackson Ishman. I'm a designer, and this is my then, now, and next. <laughs> I'm from Columbus, Georgia. Nothing in particular inspired me to be a designer. Honestly, growing up, I thought I would be a model. <laughs> I was all into modeling, you know, I liked television. I always thought I could be like Kyla Pratt. But um, later on in life, I mean, I've always been a, um, an artist, so I've always known how to draw. So that has just always been in me naturally. But later on down the line, it just, flourished more and I became a designer. I didn't look up to any big time people per se, just the people that were around me that influenced me. So um, I did a lot of fashion shows. I was an elite model all four years at Alabama State and um, modeling, doing the shows, I know um, particularly in one scene, I just uh, let a dean, if I'm pronouncing that right, swimwear. Um, she was in Montgomery at the time as well. And I know I used to love to run and jump in her scenes. I would line up, you know, when she's picking the models and everything. And um, at one point, I was one of the largest models, surprisingly, right? So um, I know later on down the line when I did start designing, I always used to think about her and how I used to love jumping in her swimsuit scene and it inspired me to design swimsuits for every type. That's like really my goal. I want to design swimwear for the skinny, the small, the tall, the big and everything. So she was one of the people I can say that inspired me. And also Beach Bunny Swimwear, like um, coming up with my designs and how I want to run my business. Beach Bunny Swimwear is one of the swimwear companies that I would look at a lot. During my modeling days, I got all of the experience behind the scene. So being a model, I knew, you know, how to present myself to the designers. I knew, you know, how to be in place. I knew everything where I needed to be. So coming in as the switch roles, I already knew what to look for in my model. I already knew what the model etiquette should be. I already knew what to expect behind the scene. I watched the other designers run through chaos and get their things together and everything. So definitely being behind the scenes, I learn from watching the other designers and learning from being a model, switching roles. I knew what to look for in both areas. How I even got into designing, I was actually sketching a logo for a friend and I was waiting for her to show up and I was bored and I had my papers out and I was just sketching as I do. Her logo was supposed to be like a silhouette. So I was practicing my silhouettes. You know, I already had something for it, but you know, I was just drawing more silhouettes. And I had all these silhouettes with different body types and shapes. And I, when I got home later, I just started drawing outfits on them. When I'm bored, sometimes I just draw. And before I knew it, I had like three pages full of swimwear, which I don't know why was swimwear. I guess um, maybe it was the easiest thing to draw. Maybe it was the quickest thing to draw. I'm not sure, but I had like three pages worth of swimwear. And I know like before then anyways, I had graduated from college, um, you know, just been working regular odd jobs, which I was kind of frustrated by. Like I went to school all these years, four years, and I have a degree and I'm not working in my field, you know. Um, so I, I, I worked my odd jobs, like I said. Um, I quit one, I got fired from the other job, and I was like, you know what, screw this. I don't wanna work for anyone. I don't wanna do this anymore. I don't like it. I don't like being micromanaged and told what to do. And also, I was fueled by some, you know, fashion shows, stuff going on in the city. Like, I didn't necessarily like how it was ran. I didn't, I didn't agree with everything. So, 
you know, much like other people, I wanted to do my own thing. I want to do my own thing. So I used to pray every night, Lord God, Jesus, show me what am I supposed to do? What am I on earth for? Everyone is going to work and I'm sitting at home and I'm just lost. And so that was, you know, fast forward to like two months later, I'm designing this logo for a friend and I come up, you know, with these swimsuits out of the blue. And then um, I decided, well, I can just do a swimsuit business, you know? So I Googled how to start a business because I went to school and got a degree for um, communications, television and TV radio, or well, television and radio. So I Googled how to start a business and I followed all the steps and finding the manufacturer was the hardest thing besides trying to make my own swimsuits because again, I sketch and I'm not a seamstress. Um, so I had a friend um, to show me, she showed me, you know, the easy things, how to cut out my patterns. Girl, you can get some old panties at home, cut them up, you know, fold them in half, lay it on your fabric, cut it out, and boom, you have your bottoms right there. So when I figured out how to make my bottoms, and I'm like, okay, we're just like copying and pasting, I would like put spaghetti strap t-shirts on and I would stand in the mirror and draw my swimsuits on my shirt and um, I would take my shirt off and cut it out and you know I would have my cutout pattern that's how I make my patterns and my mom's friend helped me sew my whole first collection so besides figuring that part out the manufacturer was the hardest thing my first manufacturer which I thought was all good we went through all of the process we went through the sampling process I sent them my pictures um, they sent me samples back. I sent them um, my initial samples that my mom's friend made so they can copy everything. We have been going back and forth for months. When it was time to make my big payment, I made my payment. I was telling everyone, oh, this swimsuit's coming out this summer. You know, I had everything lined up. They sent me not my swimsuits. They sent me three boxes full of some swimsuits just made in China. That was absolutely, it was all the same design, real simple, tie, string, bikinis. So it was a mess. I lost out on all of that money. I tried to get lawyers and that was a mess. For some reason, I had to get a lawyer specifically in that city. Even found a lawyer 40 minutes away in China. They wouldn't take my case, you know. But um, that's another story, so who knows. But I lost out, that was a big loss. And then um, I bounced back the next summer, I found another manufacturer. And I can still utilize my communication skills, which are awesome, you know. Um, when I do my fashion shows, sometimes I have to host. When I do my pop-up shops, I definitely have to get up and speak in front of an audience and introduce myself and sell my swimwear. So everything is tying in wonderfully. <laughs> My biggest win, I guess I'd say being in Macy's. I was recently in Macy's um, this past summer. So that was definitely awesome. That was a big win. Um, I wanted to see what it's like being in a brick and mortar store and how I, could, how I could function in a brick and mortar. And I liked it, it turned out really well. And I definitely, I'm looking forward to doing it again. So that's a good thing, Macy's was awesome. So as of right now, I do have a lot of things that have changed. I am a wife and a mother. I have a one-year-old son. So trying to balance work and being a mother and a wife is a challenge at times, but um, I definitely get it all done. You know, when I was first pregnant, I was still doing Fashion Week and I used to, um, you know, go to Fashion Week. I went to New York Fashion Week. Um, I think I had to skip Miami. My baby was being born then. But we were definitely down the runway, me and my little baby bump. I never stopped working. So only once the baby came, it made a world of difference. Obviously, I was tired a lot. I didn't have a lot of time. I had to focus on the baby a lot. Um, so everything, every, I had to take control more so of everything, you know, on the marketing side on all sides, which I do so anyways, but it was just more stressful. 
But um, where I am now, I'm used to it. I've um, been doing it for a little while now. And um, I, I take him in the office with me. You know, he has his space and I have my space. And we work together because, you know, I've always been working from home. And um, I'm focusing on doing pop-up shops. More so in Atlanta, everything that I've done has been like Fashion Weeks, Miami, New York, everywhere else except for Atlanta. So now I really want to focus more so in Atlanta, do pop-up shops and more fashion shows, definitely. My family and friends are definitely my support system, definitely. Family, they're everything. I, they are my investors. <laughs> when I don't have anything, you know, my family is there. So they've been backing me 100% since the beginning. My friends have been there since the beginning. I remember the first fashion week I ever went to was Miami International Fashion Week. And like all of my friends came and we had a big group thing. And my mom seamstress came, Mrs. Dot. And you know, everyone was there. So they're always there. Even, you know, all the fashion shows that I do, they're like my team when I don't have one, you know. My mom, my sister, everyone, they're all the team. What moves me more is my passion because if it was all about the money, I guess I would have stopped a long time ago. You know, being an entrepreneur, you have good days, you have bad days. It's not all up. So definitely the passion about it. You know, even when I think about doing other things and even if I ever thought about, you know, maybe I should venture out and do something else, you know, put this to the side or whatever. I always go back, I can't, I can't help it. It's like, it has to be something that's in you. It's definitely in me. What's on my heart the most to do with these swimsuits, I guess like my end all, I would really like to have a store with all of these dope designers that I know and have come across and have seen on Instagram and social media and Fashion Week and everything. And I want to have my own fashion house, not only swimwear, but all of the cool designers that I see and I would want to put in there. I would love to have that, have my own in-house seamstress because a lot of people I know, they don't have manufacturers, they sew themselves. So I would love to have that, my own in-house fashion style boutique. You know, a boutique where you can shop and pull for press magazine and everything and have all these cool local designers that no one know about and I'll be, you know, the coolest store in the city. <laughs> but that's what I want to do, really. I want to have a store with a whole bunch of people. You can follow me on all social media handles at Shayla J Swimwear. That's S-H-A-L-A-J-A Swimwear.